Dancing cause it's pool day. I don't know what to say, but that's okay. It's pool day. Hey, hey, Brandon, you, you ready to go, bud? Almost. Hey, it's pool day. It's pool day. Yeah. Hey, listen, buddy, I know that you're very nervous about going to the pool because of your swimming skills, but listen, friend, you don't have to worry about anything. I got your back. I will not leave your side for one second. Oh, that's really reassuring. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you can count on me. If you start to sink, I will lift you up. If you get scared, I will give you a pep talk. You are in good hands. I will be there for you. One, two, three, four. I really appreciate it, John. Yeah, that's right, man. You are my friend, and I am your rock. Mm -hmm. Hello? Yes, I am interested in the car warranty. Okay, I'm coming out. All right, I think I'm ready. Do you, do you think it's too much? John? Oh. Oh. John? Do you think it's too, whoa, whoa, whoa. John? John, I could use one of those pep talks. Greetings, what at all? I'm John. I'm Brandon, and this is the So and So Show. John. Yes, Brandon. Tell me if this has ever happened to you. I got so embarrassed. Oh, yeah, I've been embarrassed lots of times. Well, I'm sure that's true, but let me tell you what happened first. Oh, got it. Okay, so I went to the movies yesterday, and after I bought my ticket, the lady at the box office said, Enjoy the show. And I said, Without thinking, You too. <laughs> I mean, you see, she wasn't <laughs> going to a movie. Why would I say that? And I said it with confidence, too, so everyone in the line heard me. I felt so dumb. Has that ever happened to you? Well, no, no, not that exactly. But I have made a fool of myself in, in the public uh, arena where people watch. <laughs> it's true. I tripped in a store recently and knocked over a mannequin. Then I picked it back up and I apologized to the mannequin. Oh, no. Yeah, I have no idea what the people around me were thinking in their minds. I know what they were thinking. What? They were thinking, cuckoo. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Wouldn't it be cool, though, if we could actually see what was going on in people's minds? Oh, you mean like hear their inner thoughts? Yeah. Yeah, that would be cool. 
Anyway, uh, we should get on with this thing. Yeah. Yeah, so we've got a terrific show planned for you today. I'm sure Kellen's Bible story is going to be exceptionally biblical. From the Bible. But before that, we're going to have a little fun with a game my co-host has prepared for us. John? Uh, yes. Introduce the game, my friend. Uh, the game. That's right. Remember, I told you I was going to be super busy, and you said that you were going to take care of it. I said that? John. Oh, I'm kidding. I know. Oh, That's ah, good. I'm kidding. Okay. I said I'd prepare a game for the show. You know, you know I prepared a game for the show. You did. Yeah, totally. 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 <laughs> I totally forgot to prepare a game for the show. It completely slipped my mind. I've got to think fast so Brandon doesn't realize I dropped the ball. Ball. Balls bounce. Uh, bouncing. Baby, don't throw out the baby with the bathwater. Water. Water's wet and super soakers make things wet. Let. Met. Met. Jet. Bet. Fat. Uh, I'm stuck. Duck. Yes. It's time to play and knock the duck off the other person's head with a super soaker. Oh, that's what you planned for. Yeah, yeah. Do you, do you like it? Oh, I think it's a great idea. Oh, <laughs> good. I do not think this is a great idea. John sounds like he came up with it off the top of his head, which is frustrating because he clearly said that he would take care of this game. I'm so angry right now. I'm so excited right now. Let's do this thing. <laughs> All right, hit the button. Okay. Okay, uh, why don't you tell everyone how this works, John? You mean you want me to tell them the rules to knock the duck off the other person's head with a super soaker? Yeah, it's your game that you planned for, like you said you would. Okay. So what we're going to do is try and knock the duck off the other person's head. Why am I explaining this game? The rules are right there in the title of the game. I think Brandon's making fun of me. With a super soaker. Okay, okay, that's good. That's very concise. Uh, and is there a winner to this game? Yeah. Yeah. The winner is the person who knocks the duck off the other person's head. With the super soaker. Yes. Okay. Is he getting annoyed with me? I'm the one who should be annoyed. He didn't keep his word. And now I'm going to get soaking wet. And so will he. <laughs> Ready, go. Okay, fine. You know... I think Brandon's missing the duck on purpose. I think he's trying to get back at me. What kind of friend would do that? I'll show you what kind of friend. <laughs> this is getting out of hand. No one's gonna win this game. Somebody should really say something. Oh! It's Bible story time with Kevin. How's it going, gentlemen? Not too bad, Kevin. Just hanging out with my always faithful friend, John. Yeah. Me and my quick-to-forgive friend, Brandon, and I have been having so much fun today. Uh, okay. Well, I'm so glad you're feeling so friendly because today's story is all about two of the most faithful friends in the Bible. Great. Hey, take it away, Kellen. All righty, then. Today's story is all about David and his friend, Jonathan. You've probably heard of David. God had chosen David to be the next king of Israel while he was just a shepherd boy. David was most famous for going up against a giant in battle. Goliath! You come to fight against me with a sword, but I come against you in the name of the Lord, 
Uh, take your best shot, Pipsqueak. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh, that's gonna leave a mark. No, it's worse. Oh. Oh. I'm dead. After he defeated Goliath, everyone knew David's name, including the king of Israel. King Saul, and Saul's son, the prince, Jonathan. I'm Jonathan. I'm David. Yeah. Huh? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> hey, let's promise to be friends forever. Okay. Here, I want you to have my sword. What? Whoa. <laughs> and princely robe. Oh, wow. Thanks. Jonathan and David became best friends. Through thick and thin, they promised to be faithful to one another. King Saul gave David a high rank in his army, and he let David live in the palace. Everything seemed perfect. That sounds nice, David. Thank you, my king. Oh, can you hear the people outside? <laughs> Probably here to tell me how awesome I am. We, we love Saul! Saul. We love Saul! Yes, 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 I am amazing! We love David more! We love David more! What? Oh! David's fame made Saul burn with jealousy, so he tried to kill David. Yikes! While David went into hiding, Jonathan remained faithful to his friend. Jonathan covered for David and stood up for him when David wasn't even there for the new moon feast. So, why isn't David eating with us? Uh, he had other plans. But David's great though, isn't he? <clears throat> uh, I mean, the way he defeated Goliath <clears throat> and uh, the, the way he leads your armies. Uh, they, Plays a mean harp, too. Oh, you're on his side! Ugh, don't you understand? You'll never be king as long as David is alive. David must die! Ugh. Again, Jonathan was faithful. He came up with an elaborate plan to warn his friend. Oh, pew! The arrows went far beyond you. Run fast. Don't stop. Is that the signal that your dad is still trying to kill me? Yes. I said run fast. I guess this is goodbye, old friend. I guess so. Promise you'll always be kind to me, just as the Lord is. I promise. And, and, and if I have children someday, promise you'll be kind to them too. Of course. <laughs> Goodbye. Go. <gasps> Go! <sighs> oh. David went into hiding. King Saul kept trying to find him. When David was older, Saul died. David's friend Jonathan, well, he died too. And David became king just as the Lord said he would. And here's the most amazing part of the story. King David never forgot the promise he made to Jonathan. Jonathan did have a child, a son named Mephibosheth. Mephibosheth. I am ready to serve you. <laughs> Don't be afraid. I'll be kind to you because of your father, Jonathan. I'll return all the lands that belong to your grandfather, Saul. And I'll provide for whatever you need. Thank you. <laughs> Even after Jonathan died, David was faithful to his friend. And that's what friends do. They care for each other, they're honest with each other, and they do what they say they'll do. The end. What'd you guys think? I was not a good friend today. 
I said I'd prepare a game for the show, and I didn't do it, and I'm so sorry, man. Well, I haven't been a good friend either, John. Another thing friends do is forgive one another when someone messes up. Yeah, well, so. being faithful is hard, Kellen. It can be hard, for sure. That's why it's good that God gave us the Holy Spirit who can help us show faithfulness. And it's also good to remember that if you want to have the kind of friend you can count on, you should be the kind of friend you can count on. Mm. That's how faithfulness spreads. Thanks, Kellen. We can always count on you. Oh, yeah. You always say what's on your mind. Thanks. You bet. Oh, I sure hope everyone enjoyed the Bible story today. I, I thought it was a good one. Mephibosheth is hard to say. It's Mephibosheth. See you next time. Hey, bye. You know what, Brandon, from now on, I'm going to try to be the kind of friend you can count on. Me too, John. And when we mess up, let's just tell each other what's on our mind instead yeah. of keeping it to ourselves. Okay, you want to know what I'm thinking right now? Oh, definitely. Reveal the question! Ooh, all right. How can you be someone people can count on? Uh, you can be like David and Jonathan. You could care for each other and keep your promises. Yeah, or do what you say you'll do. Yeah, and you can save each other from angry kings. It seems unlikely, but sure. Hey, what are some ways you can think of? How can you be someone people can count on? Talk about it together, and we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. Bye. Goodbye. See ya. It was a really good show today. And even though John didn't have a game plan in advance, I, I thought the game he came up with off the top of his head was pretty entertaining. You know, John is so good at coming up with ideas quickly like that. Sometimes I wish I was like him. Sometimes I, sometimes I wish that. <coughs> I wish I could. <coughs> could you tone down the haze a little bit?